So, you think you know what an opal looks like? Uh, you probably picture this milky white stone with some little rainbow flashes in it, right? And yeah, that's one kind. But what if I told you that was like saying a house cat is the only kind of feline? Because in reality, the world of opals is more like a safari full of lions, tigers, and some creatures so bizarre you wouldn't even believe they're related. Today, we're going on that safari. We're going to look at 10 completely different types of opals, ranked from what you might find in a souvenir shop all the way up to a gem so rare it could be worth more than a brand new car. This isn't just about pretty rocks, this is a story of geology, chemistry, and incredible luck. Each one tells a story about the exact place it formed. From the parched deserts of Australia to the volcanic highlands of Ethiopia, why is one dull and milky, while another explodes with impossible fire? It all comes down to microscopic spheres of silica and how perfectly they're stacked. A little chaos? You get a common rock, a little geometric order. You get a masterpiece. By the end, you're not just an opal expert. You'll have a new appreciation for these natural wonders. We'll break down the science, show mind-blowing examples, and even a little experiment with a bizarre superpower. Safety glasses? Just kidding. All right, kicking things off at number 10. Potch, or common opal. It's opaque, it's milky, and there's no play of color. Play of color is the technical term for those rainbow flashes. This one doesn't have it. The geological equivalent of a movie extra without a line. But it's crucial. Seams of potch are the first clue you might be close to treasure. Same hydrated silica, but the spheres are jumbled and random, so light scatters into milky white. Potch is the baseline, the control group of our experiment, the unsung hero around every star. Number 9. The white or light opal, the one you probably pictured, the classic that made Australia's Cooper PD famous, a town that lives underground. Same light, milky body, but now, Subtle play of color appears as you turn it. Tiny pockets of order let light diffract into hints of color. It's the backbone of the market, and top pieces can still be stunning and valuable. Number 8. Crystal Opal. Transparent to translucent, like glass trapping a rainbow. The color isn't just on the surface. It floats within, adding depth. Purity and uniform spheres let light travel in, bounce in layers, and emerge as a 3D light show. It feels like you could fall into it. Number 7. Black Opal. The King. That dark body is a canvas that makes the colors explode. Extreme rarity from Lightning Ridge means prices rival diamonds. A celestial event captured in stone. Ready to see nature paint with stone? Number 6. Boulder Opal. Precious opal formed in cracks of dark ironstone. The backing makes colors pop and adds durability. Veins, full faces, or mixed matrix, every piece is unique. Silica-rich water seeped, evaporated, and painted ironstone over millions of years. Number 5. Matrix Opal. Opal distributed through the pores of the host rock. A glittering web of color across sandstone or ironstone. Andamooka matrix is often treated. Sugar then acid darkens the host, making the fire pop. A man-made enhancement mimicking nature, stunning when done right. Number 4. Fire Opal, from the highlands of Mexico. Fire refers to body color, yellow to deep orange to cherry red, with or without play of color. Value can be pure, uniform body color, like ruby or emerald, or body color plus play of color. Microscopic iron oxide turns potential rainbow into a glowing coal. Number 3. Ethiopian Opal. Translucent to transparent with psychedelic play of color. It's hydrophane. Absorbs water, can go nearly transparent, and the fire can fade, then returns as it dries. A porous volcanic structure lets water move in and out. Fascinating, but handle with care. Number 2. Peruvian Opal. Serene, opaque blue like a piece of Caribbean Sea. No play of color, value is body color, 
often with beautiful tree-like inclusions. Copper makes the blue. Peru also yields pastel pink from manganese. Subtle, organic beauty. Number 1. The Weirdos. Hawaiian opalized glass from lava water encounters. Hyalite, transforming into opal. Menelite, or liver opal. Strange, sculptural nodules from ancient silica gels, usually without play of color. So there you have it. Ten opals, from humble potch to bizarre volcanic oddities. A simple molecule, silica, builds staggering variety based on sphere stacking and tiny impurities that change everything. It's a masterclass. Chaos creates the common. Order plus chemistry creates the extraordinary. From classic Australian white to kingly black to thirsty Ethiopian and serene Peruvian blue, each stone tells the story of its home. You're not just looking at jewelry, you're holding a piece of Earth's history, immense pressure, heat, and millions of years captured as light. The fire in black opal is a snapshot of a process from one tiny corner of Earth, beauty born from a rare and perfect combination of circumstances. I hope this gave you a new appreciation for these gems. Next time you see an opal, ask, sedimentary or volcanic? Is that play of color or body color? What's its story? There's a universe of science and wonder beneath the surface. Thanks for coming on this geological adventure with me. And as always, thanks for watching.